For much more on this global solar industry, I speak to Jeffrey Ball, scholar in residence at Stanford University's Steiner Taylor Center for Energy Policy and Finance. And I asked about the mysterious rise and fall of Hanergy. I think context is really interesting. Um, a couple of things to say. One is Hanergy's rise in solar occurs against the backdrop of a really meteoric rise in the solar industry in China. So increasing investor excitement about this. It also occurs against the backdrop of a tough time for this industry, both in China and around the world, after a lot of capacity was added a couple of years ago. So it's been a real roller coaster ride for the solar industry, both globally and in China. Hanergy was investing in a type of solar technology that was very different from what the majority of other Chinese solar companies were investing in. And Hanergy was a real kind of darling of, of the market for a while. Interestingly, Hanergy spent a lot of money buying up, uh, effectively for pennies on the dollar, American technology companies, solar technology companies, that for various reasons um, found it to their advantage to sell to Hanergy. And so what Hanergy was trying to do was to scale up these technologies that had been developed in the United States that were different from the prevailing solar technology in China, um, and to do it in a big way. I want to get your thoughts on whether or not you think the industry itself is financially healthy. It's been a wild ride. Uh, this was a sort of garage technology uh, a generation ago and, and, and more recently than that. And so the first thing I think to say is it's interesting that we're sitting talking about the solar industry as a legitimate global industry. Um, I think the long-term indicators for the rise of solar are pretty uh, compelling. Um, uh, whether that has to do with um, sort of geopolitical desires by countries to grab this stuff, whether it has to do with climate change. Um, the question is that, and solar has, as you alluded to, made huge technological gains recently so that very few people would have predicted 10 years ago that the cost of solar would be as low now as it is. But the bar that solar has to compete against keeps changing. And essentially, solar has to sell into a market for electrons, a market for electricity, where many, many people don't care where the electrons come from as they want them cheap. I, I'm not an expert. I'd like to hear some of the new stuff that's coming out that ultimately what I think would be game, a game changer. And I know the companies like Hanergy and many others are looking at these new technologies. There are all different kinds of potential new technologies. As you say, the, the solar panel that, that your viewers will be familiar with is a, is a piece of metal and glass with dark stuff under the glass. And it is that dark stuff, those are the solar cells, and that's what has the technology that converts the sunlight into electricity. Um, now, they are heavy. Um, they, they have come down a lot in price, but they're heavy and they're rigid. And so there's all sorts of experimentation going on in a number of fronts. There's experimentation going on with different ways to manufacture that material. So now those cells, the, 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 the photovoltaic material, is manufactured from polysilicon, and it's sliced from that polysilicon. And there is a lot of innovation going on in how you might manufacture that photovoltaic material much less expensively. Um, there's also uh, innovation going on in terms of the, the, the way a solar panel would look. So, uh, so do you need to have a rigid solar panel, or can you have something that you roll up and unroll? Can you have solar panels that actually become part of the glass structure of a building and conceivably don't even look to you like anything like a solar panel? So it's a solar panel, but it's almost invisible to your eye. Two years, three years from now, you and I are sitting here again. Um, what will the conversation look like regarding solar? Now, there's a very nasty geopolitical fight going on, uh, tariffs around solar. Um, there, I think solar is sort of in, in its kind of teenage years right now. Um, there are a lot of growing pains that you're, whisper, that you're seeing. Um, I suspect that two or three years from now, solar will be a much more global industry. It, it like most industries, will grow globally. Um, whether it gets to be huge, I don't think we're going to know by two or three years from now. Um, there is a big debate over where the manufacturing in solar is going to be. Is it still going to be focused as much in China as it is now? And I, you know, we shall see. Um, but I, I, I suspect solar is not going to be dead in two or three years, and I suspect solar is not going to be a massive part of the global energy pie because nothing changes fast in this industry.